Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Maritza K. If you are new here and we are doing round two of the Milk Makeup Bronzing Stick. What is it called? It is called the Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer Stick. This thing. This this little guy here that I already did a video on. Yeah, we're, we're redoing this. And this time I'm going to do less is more and we're going to see if I still have some issues with the bronzer or if I like it you know I still want milk to give me my $12 back I, th I think I still deserve that but this time we're gonna see if it's better round two so if you guys want to see how this bronzer works out the second time around go ahead and keep on watching but before you do that don't forget to comment like and subscribe turn on that notification bell and let's get right into this video if I gotta choose me I won't be afraid to if I gotta choose me I gotta do what I gotta do all right guys we're ready for round two of the milk makeup bronzer my carpal tunnel is bothering me so I have my wrist guard on but we already know that a lot goes a lot a, a, a long way and it makes you a little bit darker given black fishing right so I am going to use a little bit this time and see if I can build it up. I already used it on my uh, brow bone and to contour my nose. So that's already done and taken care of. You can't really mess that one up, right? You can mess up your forehead. So, cause we saw me do that already. So I'm just gonna take a little bit and I'm going to apply it and see if I can then build it up. It's a beautiful day outside. So I'm just gonna Hit the same spots I always hit, but just using a little bit less product. I think this is a good amount. I think this looks good. I'm going to go ahead and blend it out and see what happens. Guys, this is so cute. Okay, so a little bit literally does go a long way. This actually works, and I think I put my wig too far down because I felt like I have no forehead room. But this is actually, okay. Okay, we have gotten somewhere. Okay, so obviously with this bronzer, you cannot, you can be generous, but you're gonna pay a price for being generous. This is not a product you wanna be generous with. You literally want to use as little as possible. Wow, the sun is shining, okay? It's a great day outside. It's, it's a beautiful day outside. I am still gonna go to the gym. I wanna do something in between the gym. Anyway, it is, this is, this is what I usually go for for my bronzer. And this is a nice natural, you saw what that one little layer did. Well, we're gonna bronze it up just a little bit more. I'm just going to just place some here because this is really where I want the warmth to be. Um, more so like the forehead area. So in the end, it was me who was the problem. I mean, do I still think that this is worth $24 the answer is no wait am I centered okay now I'm centered the answer is no this is not worth $24 but it could be worth 16 or 18 but it is cute okay a little bit does go a long way with this bronzer so you can definitely build it up it's still not too much it's not looking how it did the last video which is good so we made progress, right? We made a lot of progress. This is a nice bronze. I would say like a, a vacation bronze. Um, if you're going somewhere really like warm, something, you know, tropical, and you're looking for that summer bronzy look, this would be it. Or if you're looking for that summer bronzy look now without like, you know, being out in the sun, maybe you're someone who likes being inside a lot, but you want to look like, you know you're bronzed and everything that would be that would be this bronzer here so this is usually my bronzing look so this is good i like this so i'm going to do the same thing on the sides and i think i may be able to oops, 
I may be able to actually blend my cheekbones, like put product on my cheekbones, but I'm still a little nervous because of how, how a little goes a long way with this product. I'm sure there's a word for that, but I can't think of said word right now. Yeah, I'm gonna put some on my cheekbone because you saw, like you can see here, it did bronze up that area. I'm gonna add some more just so that it matches the forehead and everything kind of blends nicely. Just do a second layer, but just a little bit of a second layer because clearly a little bit goes a long way with this product. Now I feel more aligned with you guys. Felt like I had to force myself to look over here and I can just like look straight because I'm like a little bit on an angle. Okay, so now I'm going to take just another layer here and I think perfect amount. It's just so it can match the sides because I did add a second layer there and you just wanna make sure that everything looks the same and blended. So it's a little bit richer on my forehead and I just wanna make sure that my face looks, the, the rest of my face looks the same wherever I apply the bronzer. Maybe not on my cheekbones will I do that because I feel like maybe that's too much. So, the nerve wracking scary part. Um, I feel like because I've already put some here, like the way it blended is here, so I'm just gonna do dots just to play it safe. Just like that. And that's all I'm gonna do. I'm not even gonna try to build it up. This is the nerve, this is like the do or die part. Like this is the part that, this is crucial, your cheekbones when you blend. So I'm not gonna overdo it. Um, just blending upwards. Yeah, I, I think this is, this is fine. This is where, this is where I leave you. I still don't know what movie that is from, but this is where I leave you. All right, I actually really like this. This side has my concealer on it, so I'm just trying to just make sure everything looks good and blended. All right, I think this looks really, really good. Oh, and I forgot underneath here. I'm actually gonna do that off camera because I don't think it makes much of a difference. You saw that I did one layer in the last video. If you didn't see that video, I'll link it up above here, but there's no reason for me to show you guys that again. It was mainly like the forehead and the cheek part that, you know, was the struggle part. So I'm gonna finish the rest of my face off camera. Um, I'm also gonna bring you guys with me when I set it with the Makeup by Mario. I actually think it looks really nice paired with the Makeup by Mario. Um, the Perfector, the Skin Perfector, the Ombre Powder Bronze. I think it actually looks good because that's what I used in the last video. I just didn't show you guys that, but I will show you guys that this time. But I think so far it looks really good actually. It's starting to look the way I usually bronze with the other two products. So. I don't know, Milk, maybe you're redeeming yourself. I don't know. I did put the bronzer underneath here. I still don't like it. I never usually have to clean up or try that hard to blend underneath. So I probably, if I do use this bronzer again, like during my makeup routine, I'll probably switch to another bronzer, like either the NARS or Makeup by Mario, and just use that underneath here. But overall, I like the way that this bronze looks right now. So um, I'm going to use the Makeup by Mario Skin Perfector Yes, the Skin Perfector uh, Powder in Dark. This is my favorite way to set my bronzer. It gives you that ombre here, and I usually kind of just mix my brush into both. I use the Alamar Cosmetics Complexion Brush. Uh, I use it for bronzer. I think it's a perfect, like it hits, it's angled right, so it hits like right here. And I'm just gonna add some warmth back into my face because I feel like here at the bottom, my bronzer, like on my cheekbones, is just a little bit cool. So this is just gonna add a little bit of warmth. I'm just going up in circular motions and then taking it up to the forehead. I actually really like this. This looks exactly how I usually do my bronzer. So in short, less, is the better way to go with this with this product. You, if you're gonna be generous, you will pay the price of being generous. So just keep that in mind if you're heavy handed or if you're used to one product thinking you can apply the same method like I thought, despite what I always tell you guys, then uh, you will pay a price. 
but this looks really nice and I think that it complements the makeup the makeup by Mario complements this really well as well so I am not mad at it anymore we, we were a little we were a little bit of uh, we were frenemies I guess you can say well now we're good acquaintances I wouldn't even you know I don't know if we'll be friends yet but you know we're nice little acquaintances and I just, I really love the way that no matter what cream bronzer I use, the Makeup by Mario Skin Perfector just gives it that extraness, and I love that. All right, so I am now going to go ahead and do the rest of my face all camera. I'm going to like, you know, snatch everything up, apply some blush, all that. And then we will come back and do a final, um, oh no, wait, I lied to you guys. I got to do my nose contour. Um, we gotta bronze that up so like I did apply the cream as you can see but we have to add the warmth back in there because I did you know bake it a little bit just to clean everything up yeah I think the makeup by Mario definitely complements this bronzer really well I think I think this product the skin perfector complements any bronzer really well like it just it just does what it needs to do but this isn't about Mario is it it's about milk makeup all right so I'm gonna finish the rest of my face off camera so far so good and then we'll close out this video with final thoughts even though I feel like I kind of already gave you my final thoughts we'll give a formal final thought so this is the final face with the bronzer and I really like it opposed to the last video the first video it wasn't working but I feel like now it looks exactly how I bronze with any other product it looks very very nice I still don't like that it isn't a soft blend if that makes sense like the NARS and the makeup by Mario it blends softly whereas I feel like this blend you really have to work for it um it it finishes nicely but blending it out is a little bit of little bit harder you have to put in work to get it to blend so that's the only thing i don't like and again i still don't think it's worth 24 dollars. but i think a little bit went a long way with this and it looks really really good i look really bronzed i look like my normal face i'm still giving face but it's not too harsh and it's not too subtle it's the perfect amount of bronzer so milk I still want my $12 back, but um, you did something. You, you did a little bit of something. I think the shade range is still the best part about this bronzer and how deep it goes and how rich it is. But aside from that, yeah, I want my $12 back. Yeah, you can just go ahead and run me my money. I will send you my PayPal, my Venmo, my Cash App. Zell. I have it all. You can Apple Pay me if you want to, but I'm gonna need that $12 back, but she's cute. Again, you're not missing anything if you don't have this product. If you want this product, go ahead and pick it up. Just remember a little bit goes a long way with this, but that's it. Those are my final thoughts. Nothing really has fully on changed. Just how I apply the product, but this is literally my regular face, my regular beat. We're good. We're good, Milk. We're good for now. Just run me my $12. So if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it, it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, like, and sub well, that is the thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. You guys know the spiel, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.